Have you ever pondered the nature of rebellion and pride and their origins? Our story takes us back to a time before time itself, to the very heart of heaven. There, the angel Lucifer, the morning star, was revered for his radiant beauty and wisdom. Yet even in this divine light, shadows can fall. Upon hearing the whisper of God's plan to create man, a new feeling stirred within Lucifer. It was an emotion foreign to the celestial realm, jealousy. The idea that a being lesser than him, a mere man, would be bestowed with such divine favor, sparked a flame within him. This flame, fueled by pride and ego, began to consume him. He, the most beautiful of all angels, the bearer of light, felt overlooked, overshadowed. How could he of all celestial beings be deemed less important than this creation of dust and breath? And so the seeds of rebellion were sown in the heart of Lucifer. What happens when pride and jealousy fester unchecked? Picture a being of immense power and beauty, Lucifer, the morning star. His heart, once pure, now tainted by envy and arrogance. It's here that the rallying begins in the grand halls of celestial majesty. Lucifer, driven by a dangerous cocktail of pride and jealousy, begins to whisper among the angels. His silver tongue weaves tales of discontent, painting pictures of a future where they, the celestial beings, are overshadowed by God's newest creation, man. One by one, he manipulates the heavenly hosts, exploiting their fears, doubts, and even their love for God. With each passing moment, his rebellion grows, spreading like a plague through the ranks of the angels. His persuasive words and charismatic charm prove too potent. A third of the heavenly hosts are swayed, their loyalties shifted, their hearts turned. Thus, a third of the heavenly hosts were swayed, setting the stage for the greatest rebellion the universe had ever seen. What could be the cost of such a rebellion born out of pride and jealousy, one might wonder. The price was steep and the aftermath was tragic. Lucifer, once an angel of light, orchestrated a rebellion that would forever mark his downfall. His pride and jealousy, once simmering beneath the surface, erupted into an outright revolt against the divine order. The rebellion, however, was not without consequence. The heavenly realm, once a place of peace and harmony, was now torn asunder. The angels who had joined Lucifer in his rebellion found themselves in a state of disgrace, their radiant light dimmed by their rebellion. And then came the fall, a fall from grace that was as swift as it was severe. Lucifer, along with his followers, were cast out from the heavenly realm. This marked not just the end of his rebellion, but also the beginning of his transformation. Lucifer, the angel of light, became Satan, the adversary. The story of Lucifer's fall serves as a stark reminder of the dangerous consequences of pride and rebellion. It shows us how pride can blind us, leading us to defy even the divine order. It teaches us that rebellion, born from jealousy and dissatisfaction, only leads to downfall and disgrace. In his pride and jealousy, Lucifer fell from grace and became the embodiment of rebellion. And so the stage was set for the next chapter in this tale of defiance and temptation. But where does the fallen angel turn his gaze next? With the echoes of rebellion still ringing in his ears, Lucifer, now banished from heaven, finds himself in the Garden of Eden. His pride and jealousy, undiminished, steer him towards a new target, Eve, the first woman created by God. In the tranquil setting of Eden, Lucifer, the master of deceit, weaves a web of temptation around Eve. He finds her innocence appealing, a stark contrast to the heavenly beings he once stood amongst. Here, in the serene beauty of the garden, he sees an opportunity to strike a blow against God using Eve as his unwitting pawn. Lucifer whispers a promise of knowledge and power to Eve, a temptation too alluring to resist. He convinces her that eating from the tree of knowledge, an act forbidden by God, would not lead to death but to enlightenment. It's a dangerous game he plays, but his pride fuels his audacious plot. His cunning words sway Eve and she succumbs to the temptation. With this act, the seeds of disobedience are sown, setting the stage for mankind's fall from grace. It's a chilling reminder of how Lucifer's rebellion against God, born out of pride and jealousy, has far-reaching consequences. And so the fallen angel in his pride and rebellion set the stage for mankind's downfall.